Okay, so today I'm doing a hair braid tutorial, and it's basically um, a fishtail braid, but it's a little neater than some of the fishtail braids you may have seen um, elsewhere, such as on the catwalks this past season. And of course, for autumn winter, it's still pretty hot look, especially um, in terms of if you've ever got a day where you know your hair is just not going the way you want it to, you can kind of plaster it into this braid. All you need is a bit of shine spray that I just used, that's the toning guy um, finishing shine spray. A wide tooth comb, which I'm using here, so you don't even need to, um, well, I mean in this case, this is my little sister's gorgeous hair, she, she didn't need to straighten her hair or really curl hardly any parts of it to make it um, perfect to work with. And this is kind of like two or three day old hair as well. And that's perfect for this sort of look because when I say two or three day old hair, I mean hasn't been washed in two or three days, um, which sounds disgusting, but it actually is not. Um, it is. It's actually unhealthy to wash your hair every day, um, and to hold styles, certain styles in particular, it is much better to um, have two or three day old hair um, because it just basically holds a style better. Anyway, so as you can see, I spritzed her hair with some of the shine spray and dragged that wide tooth comb through it. Um, like I said, this shine spray was from Tony and Guy, and the wide tooth comb was actually bought from Walgreens um, in America, but it is, it's not a specific brand of any description, it's just literally a wide tooth comb, so any um, comb of a similar um, size will do the trick. So here I'm just pinning the back of her hair in place so that um, it's easy for me to pull the room, like the rest of it over to one side. So once I've done that, I just did that with some of the big hair clips, um, the curvy grips, wh I mean whatever you call them, um, and that's not, they're not going to stay in there for the duration of this um, style, but just literally to hold the hair in place whilst I'm doing the braid. So I've separated the hair into two sections, I'm trying to make those sections as even as possible, and I've brought them round to the side of her head. Unfortunately, my hair um, is covering the majority of this part, um, but yeah, so I combed through it again just to keep it extra smooth and easy to work with during this plaiting process. So I took about, well, about a centimetre size section of the hair from the left and brought it over to the right, and then I'm doing the same on the right hand side. And basically that's the way that the fishtail braid is going to work. It's just a case of taking the hair from the far side on the other side, a small amount or a big amount depending on exactly what kind of look you're going for. The smaller the amount, the messier the look will be. Um, that's not messy in a bad way, that's just messy in a kind of, it looks pretty chic um, and nice, but here we're going for quite a thick braid until we get towards the end, so you can see me working my way slowly but surely through this hair she's got an awful lot of hair, it's very thick like mine even though it's a lot, a lot straighter as you can tell. Check me out rocking that kind of messy bird's nest look. Looking great Gabby. Keep up the good work. <laughs> so we just keep going all the way down the hair until, whoa, as if by magic, I'm nearly towards the end. So just keep doing it that same way all the way down. It will get messier towards the bottom, especially if the hair is layered. If it is a layered look um, that you have your hair cut into, then it will get more difficult towards the ends. But that doesn't really matter because the messier the look with this, then it's kind of the better, um, de obviously depending on what exactly you're going for. Here we went for the thicker braid, um, but I'm going to be pulling a few hairs loose in just a couple of minutes after, there you go, I'm just securing that right there. Had a bit of a fiddle around with that securing. So now I'm removing those clips that I was talking about before because they're pretty big and clunky and they don't look so great. Um, now I'm going to put in some of the smaller curvy grips which can just kind of hide the hair. Right, like can hide in the hair right there. A little bit better. I picked dark colour so that um, they match her hair better and then it just makes it look a lot more natural overall. Her hair's actually swept over in quite a gorgeous way from there as you can see so I'm not going to fiddle with that too much 
but as I've said before, if it's messy and you have to pin it, it's not the end of the world. It still looks cute, no joke. So I've turned around now and I'm kind of pulling little bits out, roughing it up a little bit, kind of backcombing with my fingers, spreading the, the braid out a little more. Just so that it looks a bit more rough and tumble, you know. This is probably a look that she's going to be wearing to school or something like that when in the mornings when she doesn't really care exactly what her hair looks like but she needs to get it under control. And it really does not take very long. We took about 15 minutes doing this look maximum and that was purely because we were videoing at the same time so usually it would take like 5 minutes. So here I've just pulled out a couple of pieces from the side and I've spritzed them with my um, Toning Guy Iron It Defense Spray. And I'm just going to curl them. Um, now the curlers that I'm using here are my Conair 3 quarter inch curling irons. Um, and you know, I'm going to work them up and outwards so the curl is going to be directed away from her face. Now because this is quite a small barrel hoop like curling iron, um, the curls are going to be pretty tight and perhaps too tight for some people's liking. So it kind of depends on on personal preference but here I kind of like it because once I've kind of raked through those curls um, they're really nice for just kind of tucking behind the ear or tucking into the rest of the hair and um, you'll see how I do that in just a couple minutes so I'm going to do that over on this side of her hair as well just kind of hold that in place for a couple of minutes well seconds not minutes then your hair will be totally frozen so that be bad you don't want anybody's hair to get burned. That's why also the heat spray is really, really important. You really must use it. That was me standing inside the bath right there, so I had to really get out. Now oh, what am I looking for? Okay, here we go. It's a bit more heat defence spray. We're just going to spritz that on the end of where I've um, secured the braid. Because we're just going to curl those bits also to make it look a bit more natural and a little less, um, well... I don't know, lacklustre, kind of almost matted from like, I know it sounds horrendous, from the couple of days of not washing it. So now I'm going to just, like I said, curl those little bits. I've separated that into about four different sections. And those bits are now curled. So I'm going to spritz the shine spray all over the front of her like, hair again. Um, Obviously I already did the back when I was doing the rest, and now I'm separating those curls with my fingers, just roughly arranging them uh, into a kind of natural look. So it looks like it wasn't too much effort, it wasn't too fussy. I kind of took some of those ends just inside the um, hair tie that we used, and now I'm raking through those curls around the edges. It looks like she's going to laugh. Why is she going to laugh? She really looks like... What's she laughing about? Anyways, it doesn't matter. She's she's laughing. She's an idiot. Naughty model. But so I'm just tucking that bit of hair just inside the other bit, the other hair um, that's making the braid. It just gives a bit more texture and more volume to the look. Her hair curls so nicely. Like when I do her entire hair, I did it for um, a party that she went to one time, and it just looked gorgeous. So again, I'm just tucking that inside there. You can use Kirby Grips if you like, but um, I like it just tucked in like that. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.